Hey, what's up everybody? It's the Hyphen here, and today I'm gonna show you guys how to easily normalize your audio clips in DaVinci Resolve. This is gonna allow you to set all your audio clips to a set standard in audio level, so that if your clips are too loud or too low, you can easily even them out. Now I'm gonna play these clips here, and you're gonna see that the audio levels are pretty low. Yo, what's poppin'? It's the Hyphen, and welcome back to another episode of the Doubt Me Podcast. Today's special guest is not only a super talented MC, so you can see the audio levels on these clips are consistently hitting between negative 10 and negative 20 dB, which is a little bit lower than I would like. To normalize them, all we have to do is select all the clips that we want to normalize, right click, go towards the middle where it says normalize audio levels, and then here under normalization mode, you actually have many different modes. You have different set standards, including Netflix, YouTube, Disney Plus, etc. But the one I like to use when I'm editing is True Peak. So I'm going to click on that. Now this is going to allow you to choose the dB value based on your audio project settings standard. So if you're just running off default, this dB value is going to reflect here off of these faders. I personally like to get the audio levels on individual tracks to be as hot as possible without clipping with a small amount of wiggle room. So I like to choose negative 2 dB. Again, keep in mind, if you hit zero or go higher than zero, that means you're gonna be clipping your audio causing distortion. So I like to be negative two. And then you'll see here, we have two different options for your set level, relative or independent. Now the way normalization works is that it'll bring the audio clips up in volume or down in volume till it gets the loudest part of that clip to reach the target level. It's not gonna even out the rest of the audio in each individual clip. It just moves up or down your volume until that loudest part reaches that target level. Now here under set level, you have two different options. Relative is gonna move all the clips together with the same ratio until the loudest part from any of the clips reach that target value. Again, moving up or down together. So if this middle clip is way lower in an audio level, I'm just bringing it down manually to give you an example. And we go and normalize these three clips. And then under relative, we choose negative 2 dB true peak. We normalize. Now it brought up the clips again till the loudest clip, which was this one, hit the negative 2 dB value. And it did bring this clip up also. But if you look at the clips under the inspector, you can go to the audio tab and then look at the volume and you'll see that each clip was moved up 8.6 dB from whatever its original audio level was. So now this is at almost zero, negative 0 0.1, but that's because we actually had this set to way lower before. So again, under relative, they all will go up the same amount. Now, if you click on independent, this will find the loudest part in each individual clip and then change each individual clip's audio to reach that target value. So again, you see this one's way lower. Now I'm gonna click on normalize. And now the loudest part of this clip is at negative two dB. The loudest part of this clip is negative two dB and the loudest part of this clip is negative two dB. So if we go to the inspector, you can see this clip went up by 8.6 decibels. This one 9.6 and this one 8.6. Personally, I like to normalize independently so all clips reach the same target level and everything sounds pretty cohesive. So now if we go ahead and play this and you look at the audio levels, you'll see that nothing is peaking and everything is roughly about the same with the loudest parts never going past negative 2 dB. Yo, what's poppin'? It's the Hyphen, and welcome back to another episode of the Doubt Me Podcast. Today's special guest is not only a super talented MC, I would consider him a good friend now. Today's special guest, Gremlin. Let's go. What's yes. poppin', bro? Again, you see, the highest part it hit was negative 2 dB. Normalizing audio is actually really awesome. It makes everything just so much faster and quicker. I love to normalize audio clips to make sure I get them to a target level, whether my recording was a little low or a little high. Hopefully this video helped you. If it did, please drop a like on this video. Drop a comment below if you have any questions and please make sure to subscribe. I have a lot more videos coming soon. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.